Hi, I thought we would um, talk a little bit about Bayes' theorem. Um, it comes up naturally after uh, 3.3, which is the, um, what do you want to say? Oh, law of total probability. So um, it's, anyway, I'll just start. So Bayes' theorem, section 3.4, uh, what you're looking for in Bayes' theorem is that you're trying to find a conditional probability and you've probably already been given the reverse conditional probability. So notice like um, total law of probability explains the, the total way something can happen by breaking it up over its mutually exclusive event. So for example, um, let me switch over here to a pen. Um, let's highlight. Um, right now I'm trying to find the probability that people think um, the president's doing a good job. And when I break up doing a good job over the three mutually exclusive events, they're a Democrat, they're a Republican, or they're other. And uh, so to find a good job, I'm just multiplying the probability they think he's doing a good job, given he's a Democrat, given a Democrat, and I do that across the board, and I get a number. So now we know the probability that um, if we randomly choose a person, they think the president's doing a good job. But now, a lot of times you want to know the reverse conditional, like given that you've been diagnosed as a, with a disease, what's the probability you actually have that disease? That's very typical um, type of probability problem and in the medical field. So if we go down here, notice I'm asking a question. Um, if we randomly pick a person, and this person thinks Obama is doing a good job, then we're going to ask the reverse conditional, what's the probability this person is a Democrat? So I'm asking probability Democrat given good job. And um, above what we had was probability good, like up here, I guess I'm going to re-highlight probability good job given Democrat. And now I've reversed the conditional to probability Democrat given good job. So, um, if you just go by definition, a few um, sections ago we said probability A given B was just the probability of the intersection over the probability of the bottom. And I'm going to turn around that um, intersection to be the reverse conditional probability. And so now if I reverse it, I'm always given this in the above statement and now it's really just a ratio. So if we go back up there again, um, Here's the probability, oh, I'll even switch to blue. Here's the probability of a good job. And now I want to know the probability of really a ratio, good job given Democrat over Democrat. So I'm really just taking a ratio, well, I'm doing a million colors, I'm taking a ratio, well, you can't read that anymore, of that over that. Okay, it looks bad, but we'll go to another example. So there's Bayes' theorem. Um, I'm trying to find probability of A given B but I've been given the reverse conditional probability B given A and on the bottom is just the total law of probability. So when you write out the total law of probability on the bottom, the top is just one of those many cases, like probability Republican given good job, Republican other over total probability of good job. So here's another, let's go to maybe a better example. Um, I don't know if it's better, just another. Um, a farmer goes to pick seeds. Uh, two-thirds of them are fresh, one-third of them is old, so that's two mutually exclusive events. The probability they germinate given they're old, and the probability they germinate given they're fresh is much more likely, that makes sense. Probability you pick a seed and it germinates, it either germinates and it's old times the probability you grabbed an old one, or the probability it germinates and it's new, probability you grabbed a new one. So this is total law probability from the previous section. So probability old given germinate will be on the bottom is the probability of germinate, which you already did in part A. And on the top is just the reverse conditional of one of the two cases. Um, you looked at two cases, this case and this case above. So you're really just looking at the probability of this case, which is right here over the total probability. So it's just a ratio again. So that's what Bayes' theorem is. You just are, you know, I think the tip off to me for a Bayes' problem is in the question, it's a conditional, um, like down here. Um, suppose a bolt is known to be a defective, what machine caused the problem? So given defective, what machine caused the problem? 
Um, this is very typical when you're trying to find like false positives or false negatives. You know, given that you're diagnosed with the disease, what's the probability you actually have the disease given diagnosed with the disease? So this is very typical kind of Bayes theorem problem. And I think the most thing for this is to be very careful when you write out your cases because how do you write out given abused, actually abused, diagnosis abused? So just choose your names for these variables, I think, very carefully. So um, I think I'm going to explain the Monty Hall problem next just because it's kind of a fun problem. But if you want more out of 3-4, um, I have that whole list in angel practice problems. I can give answers. I can go through some of them. Just let me know. Um, I'm more than willing to do those when you want me to, so let me know.